Hey, everybody. I'm Jason Calacanis, and I'm hosting an event called Launch Scale on October 23rd and 24th here in San Francisco. And this conference is about growing your business. Now, we all know that startups are hard to build. It's hard to build a company. You have design and hiring, all these issues. But to be honest, there's a lot of people who have built great products that are not growing or they're not growing as fast as those people want them to. So we've created this conference, Launch Scale, to specifically teach people how to scale their businesses. And now there's a lot of companies out there here in the internet uh, space, like Indiegogo, Thumbtack, Homejoy, Signpost, Hipmunk, Hotel Tonight, Wealth from Politico, Reddit, a bunch of sites, Uber, Airbnb, Dropbox, that have scaled their businesses wonderfully and beautifully. And there are specific techniques to doing this. And they're, they go across the entire range of the business. So what I want to tell you about is the speakers that we've lined up so far, we've got about a dozen of them, and there'll be another dozen or two coming. Uh, and we'll have about four or 500 people there. It's going to be an amazing event. I've brought two people with me here today to talk about the scale event. Uh, the first is Brandon David. Welcome. What's up, Jason? How you doing? I am well. And Luke Lightning is here as well. Hi, Luke. Hi, boss. How are you okay. doing? Okay. Boss. That's right. I'm the <laughs> boss, man. Uh, and so Brandon <coughs> curates the events, and Luke handles partnerships. So Luke rings the register, and Brandon puts the people on stage with me. They're two excellent executives. Let's get right into it. Who's our first speaker at? Launch Scale, happening October 23rd and 24th. First one is super exciting, kind of from a, a tactical standpoint, but Patrick Cheeseman is the head of customer experience at Hotel Tonight. Great. So kind of the story here is their support team is totally remote. So there's okay. 36 of these people that he has to manage on a daily basis. And what they do is they they count up from the ticker, from their tickets, uh, the biggest complaints, the biggest product innovations, the new features they want. And then they have meetings. They come together virtually with the product managers to say, okay, these are the two or three features we got to get done in the next release. Got it. And their business has grown tremendously. They're in dozens and dozens of cities. Every I've used city, the product. Every city you've got to. Everybody loves Hotel Tonight. If you don't have it, go download it, and I, I highly recommend it. And it's a great, great founder, and they have really scaled the the apps and the, and the features. So he's going to talk about scaling your app and getting people to actually enjoy it based upon the complaints. Through the lens of the support tickets, totally. Great, great discussion. I can't wait for that one. Next yep. one. Next up is Andrew Johns, who's a total rock star in the whole space. Uh, he's head of growth and revenue at Wealthfront, um, and he's going to talk specifically about the rise of Wealthfront and how they've gotten to a billion assets under management. Or in under two years. Under two way. years, which is this crazy. This is a phenomenal company. I actually keep a bunch of money with them. It's basically, instead of um, having to use a money manager, you can put your money into Wealthfront, and they have an incredible affiliate program. I've gotten about 20 of my friends to sign up, and every time a friend of mine signs up for Wealthfront, it's incredible. I get five or ten thousand dollars that I have under management without any fees. Mm -hmm. So we'd be what they've done is they've turned every single customer they have into a salesperson, an advocate, and now um, they are growing without having to spend money on marketing. It's genius. And Andrew, by the way, previously worked at LinkedIn, I believe. LinkedIn and some Facebook as well. Right. Yeah. So he is a total rock star in the growth space, and we're very lucky to have him next speaker. For sure. Next is Yash Nella Patati. Uh, sorry if I butchered that name. Okay. Uh, so he was the first employee and engineer at Pinterest. A small little site. Yeah, probably never heard of it. <laughs> probably never heard of it, but it's one of the top 20 sites. So this is amazing. Look at the people we have coming to this event. Okay. Yeah. And he's going to talk to us about how they went from 30 billion pins or how they used the data from 30 billion pins to drive innovation. So when they started, they were just releasing based on their gut, right? They were just designing stuff and they were like, let's put this out in the world, see what people like, right? right. And That's people typical. liked it. Yeah. People liked it. Yeah, yeah. pretty typical. So then as they got further and further and had all these pins, all these conversations around these boards, they said, what can we do to use all this data to make sure we're, we're releasing features that people really want? Ah, so they're doing data science to drive features. Whereas before we heard that Hotel Tonight was using customer support. complaints and yes. support to drive features for growth. So there's a little theme here. Next yeah. speaker. Uh, Arjun Naskar from Homejoy. Yes. Homejoy quite simply cleans your house, right? It's Uber for cleaning your house. Yeah, not quite as on demand, but <laughs> with a right. week out or something, something gotcha. like that, right? So if you need to get somebody to come clean your house, boom, you pay them, they come, they clean it. And they're in how many markets now? 31. Wow. 
in, so, in little under two years, this was a YC company. Y Combinator um, company, yeah. Y Combinator company. Um, and they've just scaled like ridiculous, right? And, the, and they're going to talk about the logistical operation challenges of going to new cities, supp- su- setting up the supply and demand, you know, getting the uh, cleaners, both sides getting of the, the marketing together. Exactly. Now, that's a secret that a lot of people don't know how to do. Yelp was one of the original people to do it, right? They, they started in San Francisco, then I think New York and LA, and they, they did little parties to get people together. But there's a lot uh, to be said about launching in new markets. Hotel Tonight did that. Uber did it. Airbnb. It's a real science, and I'm looking forward to that talk. What's your next talk, Brad? Yelp, if you're listening, love to get you involved, too. You have to get Yelp involved. I'll, 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 get, I'll try to reach out to Jeremy. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Danae Ringelman, who's the co-founder CEO of Indiegogo. Fantastic. Indiegogo, everybody knows, is a crowdfunding platform. And Which most people don't know was launched a year before Kickstarter. Absolutely. So they really started this right. off. But then Kickstarter really started to like go a little bit faster than them. Mm-hmm. And now they've started to grow pretty quickly mm-hmm. again. So mm-hmm. That'll be an awesome talk. Um, yeah. She's scaled pretty much every part of their operations. Awesome. From payments and HR and all that kind of stuff. Fantastic. I can't wait to hear how Indiegogo grew so quickly. Next. Next up is Steve Huffman, uh, co-founder, CTO of Reddit, and then Hitmonk. Great. Um, so he's going to tell a whole long story about the scaling of infrastructure of these two businesses. Ah. Um, the and that's be- critical, the infrastructure. Critical, right. Yeah. Um, should be important to know that that'll be about half of our talks will be the the kind of technical scaling side of things as opposed to the business track, which will be fascinating as well. And who has sponsored so far? Give us a couple names. We have uh, Dell. Oh, Dell. Fantastic. Awesome. Um, first time sponsor of a launch event, I believe. Oh, great. Yeah. So first time. Awesome. Uh, SoftLayer. SoftLayer. IBM huge, yep. as well. First time oh, wow. sponsor of so a launch Dell, event. So Dell, IBM, these are big names. Yep. These are awesome names. Um, we have Localytics. Localytics. Yep. Fantastic. They sure. just came on board. We use that product here at inside.com and launch. And yep. of course, Dyne. Dine, Dine is coming is top in, find them on the presenting board. Presenting partner. So those are people who provide technical solutions to help people scale their businesses, and they really want to meet these business owners, CTOs, CEOs, VPs of engineering, directors of growth, directors of marketing will be coming to the event. And frequently, there's a lot of overlap, isn't there, between the business case and the technical case. And you have to have two people in the room to make the company grow. So Hotel Tonight might use Zendesk or something or some other support mechanism. They're going to need to have those people in the room, the technical people, and so it's a really great chance to showcase your technology if you partner with us. Absolutely. And also, it's important for them to get out in front of startups, which is also a big component of this. Why is that important? Uh, because I think companies want to get out in front and show that they are supportive of the ecosystem, supportive uh-huh. of entrepreneurs in general. I know Dell has this yeah. awesome entrepreneur program now. Right. Very um, focused on it. Yep. Absolutely. And so they want to get out in front of but now they must have their, they must have their own motivation as well. So, yeah, it's great to support the startup community. But why are startups so important to them on a business basis, do you think? They're probably going to be long-term customers if they catch them Uh, early, even if 95% of them fail. The 5% that do not fail become the next hotel tonight, uh, Hitmonk. So so if they do scale... Right. i.e. the name of the event, Dell would like to get in with Uber or Airbnb or Reddit or Hipmunk or Wealthfront early. Exactly. Because yes. they might go from a $500 a month client to a $50,000 a month client for those people. Let's go to the next talk. Sure. Let's keep the train moving. Here Marco Zappacosta. Oh, nice, I'm an investor in Thumbtack. A nice win for Jason yes. coming along. Uh, so the kind of theme here is they got 70,000 paying customers with no sales force. Wait a sec. You have 70,000 people to pay without having a sales force. So I can get rid of Luke and get 70,000 customers? <laughs> exactly. No no <laughs> dialing for dollars, no, no dialing mail merges, dollars. no mass emails. And the way they did this was uh-huh. by fine-tuning their business model perfectly. Got it. So now they have service providers, uh, service pros coming to them buying leads. Got it. Right? And this is a massive change. Like, there's not advertising just for the sake of advertising, taking out a block and paying money and hoping. This mm. is tangible leads. So I'm a piano buying. teacher. I'm going to pay five, ten bucks for each lead, hoping that every ten leads I land a customer who has a lifetime value of X. Next is Josh Elman. Okay. He founded the growth team at Twitter. This Absolutely. Is back yeah, Josh is a very famous guy. Time. Yeah. And uh, they created the very first learn flow, which... If you don't know what LearnFlow is, yep. you come onto a website for the first time, you're using a service for the first time, you need to know how to learn, how to use it. It's right? like the walkthrough. It's like the little tutorial. But a little more interactive than that, right? Uh, so not just a tutorial, but making you click through things. So gotcha. everybody's probably familiar with it on Twitter now, who to follow, yes. who you follow follows, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But at the so time- he created that. He created that. And at yep. the time, everybody knew about Twitter, who was coming along, mm. but very many people, very few people knew how to use it. Right. right? That, that's their big challenge, right? It's people, it was a little too complicated for people. And he previously worked at Facebook as well. He did, yeah. So now you have somebody who worked at Facebook 
Facebook, the fastest growing company ever uh, mm-hmm. in the in here in the valley, I think, um, in terms of number of users, not in terms of revenue. I think that goes to Uber, but in terms of users, certainly Facebook was the fastest, and then Twitter was right behind it. Mm-hmm. So he's worked at both those places, and we have him speaking at LaunchScale. We do. And he's also a venture capitalist now, so that's kind of cool. So he's been rewarded for being so good at growth, Josh, that he's now a venture capitalist. And it gives him this awesome like, big-picture view of what's happened, right? Uh, Walker Williams is the CEO of Teespring. This is so, a great company. Teespring is awesome. Basically, it's crowdfunded custom T-shirts. Right. So you sign on, you design your T-shirt any way you want, and then you can market it to the world. And right. if 10 people decide to buy the T-shirt, then like a Kickstarter campaign or an Indiegogo campaign, mm-hmm. they actually go to production with their T-shirt mm-hmm. and you get half the money from it. So if you're trying to raise money for a school or your local fire department, people do this. But also people do it to make or money. Or a YouTube celebrity. Speaking of making money, they now have like 10 millionaires just from using this platform. So there's 10 people who have become millionaires making t- T-shirt designs. And marketing them. All right, I quit. I'm going to go do that. Sounds <laughs> you should easier do that for to much. Go, too. next one. This me is incredible. Too. Look at all these great companies scaling. So this is Aaron next. Magnus. He's the VP of marketing at Beta Brand. Okay, what's Beta Brand? Beta Brand is a totally crowdfunded uh, clothing. Yes. Clothing, right? So what they do is they have this think tank where they send emails to their big emailing list, mm-hmm. and they say, Are th- is this an item that you would wear? Right? right, and then if enough people say yes, they produce it. So wow. they don't have this unwanted inventory laying around. They don't have to do a lot of money with R and D, those kind of things. So it's sort of like a Kickstarter, but for clothes. Yep. But from the brand that actually makes the clothes. So it would be like if Levi sent like, does anybody like this kind of jeans concept? Does everybody want green dungarees? And everybody said yes. Then we're going to make them. So that's exactly how it is. But in in reality, it allows them to come out with crazy ideas, right? Ah. So they can do like disco pants, right? Or reversible smoking jackets, that kind of thing. I bought an executive hoodie, right? Which is like a hoodie with a jacket. It looks like a sport coat, but has a hood on it. Which is and you wear that. <laughs> Please wear it to the office so we can make fun of you. This is a, that's a great talk. It's very creative. He's never worn that to the office. Absolutely. If you want to see me in the executive hoodie, I actually hoodie, did come see the, the I did see the executive hoodie on the uh, on their website, and I actually thought for a second of embarrassing myself by buying it. Next slide. Let's keep going. We bust, we like to have a lot of fun here at the company at launch. So we bust chops a little bit, but keep going. So Ryan Mannion is the CTO of Politico, uh, yeah. and he's going to tell this tremendous traffic growth. Story. He was the CTO. He, no, he currently is. He still is. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Zero to 100 million page views. Got it. Um, This is really a story of seasonal traffic, right? Ah, So when election comes up and so many people are interested in in the presidential election, they go to Politico and then their servers have problems and they have all these traffic scaling issues and he's going to tell you how he dealt with that. Awesome. Okay, next. Uh, Craig Zingerlein. Another one from your portfolio of Red oh, Tricycle. Yes. I'm an investor He's in Red Tricycle. He's the senior director of product. Uh, anybody that doesn't know Red Tricycle, they send you great ideas to do with your kids in your city. That's their, that's what they do. They If you have kids, go to Red Tricycle, and they will tell you what to do this afternoon on a Saturday, and you will be a great parent, and you will have your kids engaged in something, so you can go have a beer or something. No, seriously, it's like I've gone to so many events uh, and have so many memories from finding some of Red Tricycle, and they have grown tremendously through email. Mm-hmm. That's their big secret. So 750,000 emails And now, how they manage that, huh? And how they manage that, right? They're Growing. sending millions of emails a month because they're, wow. they're hitting them a couple times a month with different things. Yes, and, every week. It's great. I mean, in terms of email, I don't know if there's a bigger scale. Like it's, it's Oh, there is. Crazy. There's a couple. Like I think Daily Candy hit a bigger scale, but they went out of business, which was tragic. Maybe Groupon, Living Social. Yeah, Groupon, Living Social, yeah. absolutely. So this is a real, but this is an up-and-coming one. Yeah, this is a startup. This and is they, they have the Open rates is amazing. So I hope they talk a little bit about open rates. Make a note to ask them to talk about how to get people to open it, yep. uh, other than making it awesome. But mm-hmm. I'm really looking forward to that talk. Next talk. Uh, Christopher DePatria is the VP of revenue at Signpost. Uh, this is another investment of mine. Mm-hmm. Now, they've done amazing. So really, really well, yep. right? If anybody doesn't know, they it, it's a one-stop marketing platform for your small business. Right. right. So if so, you have a dry cleaner or coffee shop. Make one update and it goes across Google and Facebook and everywhere else you want it, Yelp, yep. et cetera. So um, they do have a really big sales force, right, ah. dialing for dollars. And he's going to go real tactically through how they scaled from five people in sales to 100 in two years. Wow. So it's, that is a scale issue too because that's scaling inside your organization in order to grow the organization's customer base. Okay, so now let's talk about a little bit of what we're looking for because we're not done yet. And by the way, if you want more information, go to launchscale.net. Or on Twitter, you can follow launch underscore scale. Mm -hmm. And if somebody wanted to speak, 
they can, I guess, if they email you, Brandon at launch.co, they yep. can pitch you. Yep. And if they wanted to partner, they could just email Luke at launch.co, right? Correct. So Luke at launch.co, if you have a product to sell into this audience, because if you do, if you are selling, we ask you to sponsor the event, buy everybody lunch, be a mensch. But if you are a company that is actually growing and scaling, we want to hear from you as well and mm -hmm. pitch yourself as a speaker. Um, but now who do we want to get? Who else is on our wish list? Let's pull up that slide, the wish list slide. Uh, we're on the wish list slide. So, okay, great. Um, Uber would be awesome. Yes. Okay, right? great. I'm an investor in Uber. We got to get somebody from Uber. Airbnb, Airbnb for be sure. tremendous. Netflix, Netflix, obvious. Yelp. We talked about Yelp yeah, already. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get Yelp. Amazon, Lyft. Which part of Amazon? Because Amazon's like a really old, big company. What do you think? Yeah, so I'd like to talk about the kind of infrastructure story of uh, Amazon.com. Right? Got it. Okay. Not, not AWS. But mm. Amazon.com. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, Lyft, Dropbox, Box, Zappos, Foursquare. These are all great companies. So if you uh, work at one of those companies um, or you know somebody over there who's involved in the scale of the business specifically, and we like to talk about specifics, so we're not just looking for CEOs. We love to get the VP of X or the director of Y because they actually might work on very specifically scaling the marketing or scaling customer support or scaling... Uh, affiliate programs. We want the very specific detailed information because we want to learn at this event. This event is not, I mean, networking is going to be spectacular, of course, with the level of CEOs we have coming and CTOs and VPs. But we really want to learn. We want people taking notes. Now, let's look at the tools that we want to have here. Let me just run down this tool list for a second if we can pull up that slide. New Relic, MailChimp, SendGrid, Salesforce, Akamai, Zendesk, Optimizely, Marketo, Moz, AdRoll. These are all great tools. So we'd love to have those tool companies involved, and they can email Luke at launch.co because we know that a lot of – Times And we, the way we made this list was we always ask our fans of the show and our readers, like, hey, who do you want to see here? We ask people on Twitter, and these are the names that come up pretty often. Mm -hmm. So if you're one of those tools companies, gosh, you make thousands of dollars off each of your clients. Just email Luke and, you know, help support the event. I'm asking you personally to do that. We, we just try to break even here at the Launch uh, uh, Foundation. I call it the Foundation now. It's where we do the Launch Festival, Launch Scale, This Week in Startups. We just try to, like, break even on each of these events. So if we can get you know, whatever it is, I don't know, 10 people to put up 25K or yep. 20 people to put up 12.5, I think it's probably more likely. And we've got three or four of them already. So if we can get another eight, nine people, we'll be able to break even on this event and put on a hell of a show. Great work, Brandon. This is an exceptional look. And we're going to get Thanks, another Jason. dozen speakers or so on this side, and then hopefully another 10 or so partners to do this. Um, and you can email um, uh, luke at launch.co. Brandon at launch.co or Jason at launch.co uh, and go to launchscale.net and that's it, right? We're going to do another one of these in two weeks. If you have any questions, feel free, email us uh, through the proper channels and uh, that's it. All right, we'll see you next time. Come to the Launch uh, Scale event and uh, you'll really learn a lot, I promise you.